Welcome to Rockstar Health and Fitness. I'm your host, Lori Risher. Today's guest is the lead singer, guitarist, and composer of a band that sold over six million records here in the U.S. alone. They've been nominated for a Grammy, won three MTV Video Music Awards, five Teen Choice Awards, and played over 1,200 shows all over the world. He just released his solo album, Soul Punk, where he wrote every song, played every instrument, and produced it. And if he's not busy enough, he also went through a physical transformation, losing over 60 pounds, took off his hat, shaved his sideburns. Today's guest, musical genius, fallout boy frontman, and solo artist, please welcome Patrick Stump. Hi, Patrick. What's going on? Thank you for stopping by Rockstar Health and Fitness. Of course, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Tell us about your new album, Soul Punk. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a labor of love, you know. I played everything, and I wrote everything, and I produced it, and, uh, and uh, it's weird because um, when we wrote, when I, when, I, when I wrote it, and when I was bringing it to like management and stuff, we were all talking and they didn't, but we, we didn't really have any idea that it was, um, you know, that I'd be, you know, doing stuff for Kiss and 98.7. Like it was, we didn't think that it was going to be anything that was on anybody's radar. We didn't think that it was going to, we didn't think that any of the music, any of the music was, you know, it didn't sound like pop radio to us. It didn't sound like, you know, it didn't sound popular to us. You know, it was just kind of something that, um, I wanted to, wanted to do. It was very much a little passion project. So it's uh, it's weird to be you know out and talking about it and doing you know that, that anyone wants to hear it and it's on you know it, it's been yeah it's been charting on iTunes and stuff like that. It's crazy. It's weird. Well, working at Island Def Jam, I help oversee Patrick's U.S. radio campaign for his first single, "This City," which is a big old hit. I'm so excited <laughs> about this song. And in fact, I'm so excited about it, I made it the summer anthem of Yoga on the Beach. So here in Los Angeles, two of the biggest radio stations in the world, KISS FM and 98.7, put together a promotion where they offer free yoga and free breakfast to the listeners. So I made this city our summer anthem, and not just because I'm working the record, but I really do love it and believe it's such a hit. And every week we played the song, we gave away prizes from Dodger tickets to restaurant coupons, the download, and for our season finale last Saturday, Patrick came and performed an acoustic set of this city and a couple other songs. Well, the other thing that I'm so impressed by is clearly you've gone through a physical transformation. Why don't you tell us how you did it and why you did it? Um, so there's a lot of whys. Um, it all comes down to calories and, and whatever and various other, you know, nutritional amounts of things, whatever, but quite simply, an easier way to look at it is mass, and that's what that's what made portion control so huge for me. Because I didn't I didn't go on a program or anything. I didn't go on any crazy diet where I cut out. You know, I I was always I always generally ate kind of healthy. I always avoided certain foods and <clears throat> in certain you know I, I I avoided leech flowers. I avoided you know um, I avoided a lot of preservatives. I avoided a lot of you know. I, I, I was eating generally healthy things, but when you're eating, you know... Twice the amount. Yeah, three times, four times the amount. I mean, that's the reality is that I'm 5'4". My stomach should, like, in my body, should probably not be, not be much bigger than it's that. True. And when you eat a plate of food that big, that's not, you know... When your mom tells you, finish your, clean your plate, you gotta clean your plate. Well, we're looking forward to seeing what you're gonna share with us today in the kitchen and the fitness segment. So, we got that coming up next. We're here in the Rockstar Kitchen with Patrick Stump, and he's going to show us one of his favorite foods that he eats on the go. So, fairly arbitrary too, because this could be a burger, this could be, you know, whatever. This could be anything, but we selected a burrito, because burritos are rad. You can put a lot of food yeah, in a burrito. Because burritos kill rad. So, but other than that, um, you know, this this is just how I, how I eat healthy. Okay, I can't For, wait to yeah. learn. First off, um, uh, I mean, in general, ev everything you eat is a decision, you know. So, so when you and and I don't I don't really subscribe to the idea of just 
unilaterally cutting things out, you know, of saying like, I'll never eat blank again. I think it's actually Smart. probably, I think it's probably less healthy for you, not, not on a, I, I, it's less, less healthy for you on a, on a, like intellectual level because then you, then you get like, you focus on it. You're like, yeah, totally. If it's you true. say I won't have any cookies, the, then you're going to yeah, eat the whole box. Like, it's moderation. Yeah, yeah. So and they always say, you know, oh, don't ever have the mayonnaise. Don't ever have the cheese. Don't ever have the, you know, all these things that are primarily fat and salt and whatever, right? That's true. Don't have a lot of it, but I don't, I, I don't dig saying, you know, totally. I agree. Cutting. I live from that rule yeah. of thumb too. Um, so anyway, we have a burrito. We have, I even say that that's maybe a bit much when you actually look at all the stuff that's in there and whatever. But, uh, but generous, why not, we'll be, whatever. Uh, we can have some rice and beans, but this, whatever, this is a serving, this was, this was what they, they this was what they sent. Back to what we were talking about. That's crazy, sizes. if you tried to eat that. I, I wanna, if you just ate that, I mean, that's still even a lot. That's a lot of food, you could, I mean, you could, you would be totally fine with eating half of both of those things. Can I mess, I'm gonna, mess, I'm gonna mess up this tower, I think. I think this is Beautiful. it. But I'd say probably in that ballpark is, is generous, realistically, for Would that be your dinner? Yeah, totally. That's that's a, that's a that's a great dinner. That's um, you know, um, I find you know again a lot of people talk about breakfast as like the meal to overdo. Um, I think lunch is probably my my preference for if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna consciously go whatever because especially if you are I think lunch is undervalued. It is kind of important to have something in the middle of the day. And if you are going to have something in the middle of the day, by the time you metabolize it, by the time you get to dinner, you should have really only be wanting this much. Okay, now let's find out what he's going to show us in the fitness segment. You ready? Yes. Let's go. We're here in the fitness room and Patrick is going to show us one of his favorite workouts. So I'm going to show you the simplest thing in the world because ultimately um, they say you're better off doing something than doing nothing, you know, than doing no working out at all. And so it comes down to like, what do you do, what do you want to do? So my first, the thing that appeals to me the most, and unfortunately I'm not going to do my favorite workout because it's really boring to put on film, but I just run, that's what I, that's what I like it's doing the most. It's, it's, and it, well, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's no more complicated than that, I run. That's, I can't really show you how to do that. I'm sure you know how to do that, but, um, but, um, uh, one of my other little things that I try to keep up on because yeah, you know, it's important to work on your arms and keep your, I, I have a particular problem with my upper body, it doesn't, I have to work it way harder than my, my lower body, my calves are always like, you know, whatever. Oh, they're running. Yeah, yeah, well, but they do that when I, when I, I was fat with sick calves. <laughs> really? I, they, they never, they never go anywhere. Genetics play a funny role. Yeah, genetics yeah, yeah, are hilarious, but my, uh, but my, um, my upper body, I always have to work out. But one thing that I, I, I try never to slack on is is my abs and specifically my specifically the sides. Everybody knows sit ups and there's all the you know, everybody has their way of doing sit ups. But um, this is not anything you don't know. But in case anybody has never thought of it, yeah, work out the sides of your abs as well. Don't just do sit ups. Hard like to that. get to. And you know what else is important about working out your core is it prevents back injuries. Totally, that's really important. Dude, that's another that's another major thing since I lost weight is is having so much more support here. I'm I, again, I'm a little dude. I should not have any back problems. Based, you know, typically those typically that's associated with being much taller, and I had a lot of back problems from being fat. Well, <laughs> and next to the flu, it's the number one reason why people miss work is back injuries. So it's very common and it's preventable just by. What we're so doing if you want to miss work, <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, Ready? Yeah. So all I'm doing, um, there's. I'm trying to think which. I, the, my favorite is just like so. Right? Uh, cross your leg like so, and basically we're trying to make we're trying to go as far with this elbow as possible to to me. Okay. Like so. And. Uh, Without lifting up, without lifting your the right off, shoulder, yeah, the same shoulder off the ground. Right. Wow, that's pretty intense. You know what else is great about this? The way our legs are, if you flex your top foot and press your knee away, you're getting a hip stretch too. So I'll probably do about, uh, you know, maybe 40 on each side and. Uh, 
maybe do, you know, in, in my workout, maybe do two, two uh, passes of that, so ending, ending up doing 80 on each side. And, you know, obviously there's a lot of other traditional sit-up things, you know. So you incorporate, like, breaking Yeah, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing that in there as well. I'm probably doing, I'm probably doing, you know, a couple hundred straight up sit-ups, but then, yeah, probably about, probably about 80 on each side. Well, that's good because then I get asked the question all the time as a yoga instructor, how do you get rid of this area? And what Patrick just showed us is a great way. And any sort of side stretch that you're getting into that area really helps and really helps tone all the way around. And, and, and people way underestimate the importance of, of your... I, I'm not trying to get, you know, a six-pack or washboard or whatever, all that stuff. But uh, you're... you're People underestimate the power of posture and how much of your posture relates to your, your midsection, like you were saying. Right. So, there you go. There's our fun fitness fact from Patrick Stone. Thank I'm you full very of much. It today. I'm full of it today. Coming up next, we have my favorite find of the day. So, you've been sharing your healthy secrets with us all day. And They're now not secret I'm, anymore. They're not secret anymore, exactly. But now I have something I want to share with you guys. So we all know how destructive sugar is on your body. Even though it tastes delicious, we're finding more and more studies of the damage that it's doing. So I'm trying to avoid using as much sugar as I normally would, especially in the morning in my coffee. And thank God Patrick told us that coffee's good. In moderation. Yeah, yeah, yeah not bad. And, and uh, especially if you, can, if you can put up without sugar and cream. Well, and if you need sugar in your coffee like I do, this is perfect. So any form of stevia actually, and stevia is a plant, it comes from the sunflower family actually, and it's like 30 times sweeter than regular sugar, and it literally helps regulate your blood sugar instead of sugar, which spikes it, right? And they've been using it in Latin America for like 1500 years, and Japan, and there's no known complicated side effects. So there you go. And I want to thank you, Patrick, for stopping by the Rockstar Lounge today. Thanks for having me. We learned a lot of fun things, especially I love what you taught us about moderation and portion control. It's really important, especially in our society of supersizing. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's insane right now. Well, it's, it's been insane for a while. How much we, it's getting worse. How much we eat. Yeah. And my abs are going to be sore from our ab workout, so thank you for showing us that. Of course. And make sure to go out and get your copy of Patrick's new album, Soul Punk. There's all kinds of hits on it. It's an amazing record. And he wrote it all, all and he kinds. played every instrument all and kinds. he produced all it. All kinds of hits. So anyway, that's all we have for you today. And until next week, remember, it's not a choice, it's a lifestyle.